This has been a rather curious set of proceedings for so many reasons, one of them being that, of course, it's acted as a bit of a retrospective to the longest and most expensive criminal trial in Gibraltar's history. For the liquidators, this has all been about claiming more money to pay creditors. And for Rafael Maracha, the defendant, this has all been about him clearing his name, as he said in evidence. For the convicted Maharaja brothers, it's curious because this is the first time we've heard from them since they were convicted and since they went to prison. Isaac Maharaja said in evidence that uh, he was a victim of everything and uh, Solomon and Benjamin Maharaja, well, they took the opportunity to express an element of remorse. But for the judge, only one thing matters. Was the money paid to Rafael Maharaja over five years a salary? Or was it a series of payments in exchange for his share in the Maharaja estates? Mr. Maharaja himself told the judge it was clear that the Maharaja and co ledger, which showed the payments made to him, had been falsified by his brothers. And there was no proof of any payments or any intention on his part to sell his share in the Maharaja estate. But the liquidator's lawyer, Nick Cruz, said the claim that the ledger was false couldn't be given any credibility. Mr. Cruz said the judge could consider the criminal trial, where the Maharaja ledger had been used as credible evidence by Sir Geoffrey Grigson. A judgment is expected in the next few weeks.